channel it's a girl Lissy and this is my grumpy griffin angel if you guys agree that angel is the cutest brussels griffin you guys have ever seen smash a like on today's video this video should be getting a million likes right angel we all agree very cute <laughs> anyways guys welcome back to the channel today guys we are going to be diving into something very nostalgic once again. Yes, I know, I have made videos about this subject, but I just can't seem to get enough, okay? I keep thinking about her every single day when I wake up. The first thought in my mind is that darn tree with the big old face that talked to me when I was eight years old. Oh my gosh. It's Tracy. Friend going to Rainforest Cafe and get a three-piece chicken tender meal while I watch the animals scream and cry at the slaps of a loud thunderstorm. Nothing more nostalgic than that. If you guys have never been to a Rainforest Cafe, did you even have a childhood? Because for me, that was one of the most nostalgic places of my entire childhood. I still feel like it's one of the most nostalgic places. Like, if you want to take me on a date, take me to Rainforest Cafe, okay? That's how you impress me. All right, that's where all the finest ladies know where to eat. Anyways, it's basically like the jungle version of a Chuck E. Cheese. And today we're gonna be diving into some of the history about it because I find some of this stuff to be fascinating and to the downfall of Rainforest Cafe and the dark truths about Tracy the Tree. Buckle up, the tea is hot, grab a snack, and let's get into it. They've always had this animatronic alligator too. And you always throw coins at it and it randomly opens its mouth and eyes. I don't know, yeah, his, his, oh, it's opening, but it's not opening fully. I wonder if it is broken. They used to scare me as a kid. I thought it was real. And this snake used to scare the heck out of me as a kid. I always refused to walk under it. I don't think it's working right now. Well, its tail's moving, but its head, oh, it is moving a little bit. There he goes, there he goes. The iconic storm, all the animals start moving around. We're sitting right by the elephant, oh my gosh. And there's gonna be a thunderstorm. Oh my gosh, here comes a thunderstorm! Whoa! Oh, this is exactly what used to scare me as a child. Like, how is this not horrifying? All of them are like flashing and freaking out. The elephants are going crazy. The monkeys are pounding their chest. Like, this is so creepy. Oh my god, quesadillas. What did you get? I got chicken tender. Oh, is that onion straws underneath? Yeah. Oh, I'm stealing those. I don't like them. This food was so, so good. And the elephant just sitting here watching me eat all of it. This is the most romantic date ever. I always remember these statues, like the little waterfall statues being so nostalgic as a kid. I always wanted to sit by this or by the elephant. Monkey's getting it down. He's getting funky with it. He went up with that arm, now he's paused. He acts like I can't see him. Maybe they do have, this one stopped too. Now he's moving, now he stops. Maybe they have like webcams in their eyes, like a Chuck E. Cheese situation, but the jungle version? I don't know, I'm onto these monkeys. Oh my goodness, look at that big boy. He's found in his chest. Oh, whoa, he just leaned back. They have this bar section with the mushroom. There's a tiny monkey there, and it kind of like rains down, and they have the animal seats where you can sit on, and it makes you look like you have a zebra butt. And these butterflies are so beautiful. You can see the rain in the background now. Look how majestical this is. Like, why would you not want to eat? And the fish tanks. Oh my gosh. They don't have the fish in here anymore, but they have the little bubbles. Ultimate birthday package. You can get a tree frog. You can get a cup. Look at the cup. Like, how would you not want this? Like, in the volcano cakes, these were iconic as a kid. I always wanted a volcano cake. To this day, I still want one because they put like they put it on fire, like it sparkles. It has a sparkler in it. And I thought that was so cool, but I've never had one and I'm on a diet right now. The sky has always been so magical. Look at all the stars. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I want one of these in my house. So Rainforest Cafe is a jungle-themed restaurant chain owned by the Laundries Incorporated of Houston. The first location opened in the Mall of America in Bloomington, Minnesota on February 3rd of 1994. I've actually been to this location that was one of the most nostalgic locations for me as a kid because I grew up next to that one. By 1997, the chain consisted of six restaurants all in the United States. The first international location opened in London, England in June of 1997. And then in 1998, that was the year I was born, it was planned to build 12 additional restaurants in the United States, seven in Mexico, and five in the UK for a total of 22 different restaurants by 2008. And let me say, all of those restaurants I'm pretty sure do not exist to this day anymore because they went 
bankrupt. This place was struggling to keep its doors open because it was a lot to run and I'll tell you more about why later, but let me catch you up with the rest. So this place was so special because each rainforest cafe restaurant designed its atmosphere of a tropical rainforest, including plant growth, fog machines, waterfalls, and rainforest animals. The ceilings and much of the walls were lined with artificial foliage, where lower areas and booth seating are decorated with fox rocks, which made you feel like you were really submerged in the jungle. You felt like you were in the rainforest having a fine dining experience. Often there is usually a waterfall with a fountain in the dining area. Paper mache birds and butterflies are suspended from the trees and other whimsical rainforest creatures are mounted as though climbing the walls peeking through the foliage. The ceilings above the center of the dining room featured this beautiful starry sky. I kind of want this starry sky in my house. It was gorgeous. That was my favorite part. Um, of the restaurant until you got the thunderstorms. That traumatized me. Even the bar stools resembled animals' butts with the legs of the animals that you would sit on in the bar, which was pretty funny. There was fish tanks and aquariums with tropical reef fish spread throughout the restaurant and a gift shop with tons of jungle themed things inside of it, along with animatronics everywhere. You got elephants, crocodiles, butterflies, leopards, gorillas, and our favorite animatronic of all time. The most iconic tree we know, Tracy the tree, the one who horrified us all. And if you guys were wondering what kind of food this place had, it was basically, they had a little bit of everything for everybody. They served American chain food, such as burgers and chicken, pastas and seafood, with the addition of some Mexican food to reflect the tropical theme. And of course, their very signature dessert, the one that I always wanted but never got, which was called the Volcano, and it consisted of a brownie and ice cream topped with a lit sparkler. I always dreamed of it as a kid. To this day, it's still on my list of dreams that I want to accomplish before I die. Why? I don't know. Somebody mark that down. My next birthday? I want one of those! You know what I want for my next birthday? Talk to Tracy Tree and get a volcano sparkler. That's all I want. I'm a simple lady. With fine taste. Anyways. <laughs> the restaurant also served alcoholic beverages. If you're trying to get turned in right for it. I'm just kidding guys. We don't promote that here. <laughs> Even crazier to me is that there was one specific location. This is one on my bucket list of rainforest cafes that I need to go to before I die. That has a built-in water ride. Yes, you've heard me. You can go on an actual ride in this location. Somewhere within Texas premises there is a rainforest cafe that has a rapid ride inside of it with animatronics. It's a full thing. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I need to go someday, but that really fascinated me. Imagine if all of them had a ride like that. You could see where they had a lot of bills to keep up with. And you could see where it would be hard to keep up with all the bills of a rainforest cafe because they were expensive. They had fish to take care of. A lot of them ended up taking the fish out of the tanks because they couldn't afford the cost of running that many fish in a, you know, in a tank. Obviously that's expensive. It's an aquarium of its own. That has a lot of stuff to put into. You know, animatronics break down. There's times where they need to be fixed. They have malfunctions. So a lot of these places couldn't keep up with it and kids started getting scared of the tree probably and they don't want to eat there anymore. But imagine a world so cold that everything gets taken away. We've had McDonald's that go through, you know, the colorful change to this. Honestly, we're taking the color out of the world. That's really what it's coming down to. We don't even want the Chuck E. Cheese animatronics anymore. What is this world becoming? I don't know. It's like, have you guys seen that episode of Fairly Up Parents where you have Fairy World or whatever, and then they all turn bland and dull like the Pixies get their pixiness taken away. I don't know what I'm saying. You guys need to understand, right? Anyways, that's the downfall of Rainforest Cafe. Is it because of Tracy? I don't know. Tracy has a lot of stories on her own, but we're gonna be talking about Tracy because she has some things that we need to talk about. So Tracy the tree, a lot of the conspiracies I've seen about her on TikTok is that she makes you uncomfortable. People have always made TikToks about this tree has made me uncomfortable since I've been six. And I agree, she has also made me very uncomfortable since I've been sick. Some people even go to the extent to say that this tree looks like it's following them around or has webcams in its eyes, kind of like the Chuck E. Cheese conspiracies. And others even claim that when they were working at Rainforest Cafe, yes, the workers who work there would have to go off and turn it off for the night, you know, all the animatronics, they'd switch them off with a little flip switch and they'd clean up the gift shop. The people that work that job of cleaning it up at night said that they would hear Tracy the tree talk when she was supposed to be turned off. Like what? She's just an animatronic tree. Once she's turned off, she's not supposed to be talking anymore. There has been a lot of theories about that, but even one specific theory about one of the locations, which is the Mall of America, the one that I grew up next to having a supposedly haunted Tracy the Tree. This is all legends and rumors, I don't know. This is what I found online on a Reddit forum. One person said that they were working at the Rainforest Cafe in Bloomingdale, Minnesota at the Mall of America, which is the biggest mall in USA, or one of them. And this tree 
they believe was haunted. They claimed that sometimes during the shift when they were cleaning up for the night that things would fall off, like the toys would fall off the shelf right by the tree. They would always think, what the heck, maybe, you know, things are just falling. Or it would be bouncy balls would just roll onto the floor and things like that. That is until they noticed Every time that they'd shut off the animatronic, its eyes would close, right? The eyes would just flap back open all by themselves, and it's supposed to be off. And then they noticed that they would also have night tears about the tree, like as if something was linked to the tree. It was there on the land causing this worker to have night tears, like they dream nightmares about Tracy. So then they went back, you know, still working the job, nights and nights with night tears and things falling off the shelves, and they claim, this is the scariest part of all, that one night when they were about to leave, that they heard their voice and they turned around and they saw the tree moving its mouth. <laughs> How realistic is that to me? I don't know. But imagine your voice being whispered and you just see Tracy the tree standing there saying that to you. Oh hell no, I'm out of there. But of course, you know, I had to give my best instinct and look at my local Tracy the tree and see if anything is suspicious about her because I love Rainforest Cafe. Oh my gosh, it's Tracy. I'm Tracy the tree. Hello, hello Tracy. I swear she has webcams in those eyes. She's watching us. Do her eyes move right and left or are they just close? I don't know. That'd be creepy if they like move right to left. I'm like, watch. Oh my gosh, look at her eye look close. That is so creepy. It looks so old and like, there's like wear and tear on it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and her nose it has like a different color. I wonder if that's on purpose. Oh, whoa. I don't know if she liked when I touched her nose. <laughs> Can I go in here? Tracy? She's gonna bite your hand off. <laughs> Tracy just bites my hand off. Imagine that. I'm gonna put my hand in Tracy's mouth and see if anything crazy happens. Hi Tracy. I just wanna I just wanna I just wanna know. That scared me. Uh, I think I'm fine. She's not biting me or it's, anything. It's not like Chucky. It's not like Chucky Cheese with Chucky. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Tracy. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Tracy, but she's always terrified me ever since I was a small child. But I also have to respect her because she's iconic in her own way, you know? Plans and success and excellence in education You go say hi to Tracy. She's done talking now. She's not gonna bite you. <laughs> Why did you flick her like that? Why did you flick her like that? I swear there's something up with this tree. Scary. It's actually the most scariest tree animatronic ever though. Like, no joke. I don't know what it is. The design of it or something is so unsettling. She has a little hummingbird hanging from her. I never noticed that on her branch. I mean, you can move the eyeball around. Like, they, they shift right and left. So they do go right and left and like, they blink. Oh my gosh, whoa. I almost lost the finger. I wonder who made this animatronic. I wonder what company was the original designer, who was the original creator of Tracy the Tree. And where did they get their inspiration? Because there's so many stories, there's so many creepypastas online that this tree sometimes wakes up in the middle of the night and goes on when the power of the whole Rainforest Cafe is supposed to be shut off. So, I don't know guys. Oh, she's telling another forest fact. Anyways guys, are all these rumors about Tracy true? I don't know. She's a little sus. A lot of people have been making TikToks about her and I, I don't blame them. Anyways, comment down below. Have you guys been to a Rainforest Cafe? Do you guys like it? Do you like the food there? And uh, should I go to the one at the water ride to check it out for you guys? Or should I go to the haunted one? Let me know in the comments down below guys. It's been Lissy. Thank you for watching today's video. I'll see all of you lovely people in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.